Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're on Gnome. We're probably not staying on Gnome again, but since the 590 driver came out, Gnome has become as smooth as Hyperland. And uh, the main reason I actually went to Hyperland is because of a better HDR, better VRR uh, than both KDE and uh, Gnome combined. But since the overall performance has gotten better, I kind of want to give it a shot. And that should be pretty fun, hopefully. I don't know. We'll try, you know? We'll, we'll see exactly how it goes. I'm going to just unpin all of this. And we're going to pin everything we need really quickly here because uh, I'm going to need a working environment. It actually looks good instead of drives me crazy. Because you don't ever want an environment that drives you crazy. It drives you crazy. Literally, it's not good. <laughs> All right, so we got Mission Center, OBS Studio. We're going to pin that. And uh, I need to pin Steam. And we also need to pin Heroic. I don't know where the hell that went. Uh, it's always disappearing. And Heroic. And we need to go all the way back and we need to pin the settings. And I think we have everything. Oh, no, we do not. We do not have everything. We are missing the best browser ever made, Microsoft Edge. If that upsets you or sets you off, just remember, you're supposed to be an adult. Act like one. All right. Let's put this behind OBS and remove resolve between the two of them. And there we go. Now we should be good. If you're wondering why I have two ciders installed, one is Cider 3 and the other one is Cider 4, which will be coming out soon, officially. Uh, I think we have everything. I'm also going to pin this here as well. And I'm going to pin this because, again, you also need a good terminal when you're trying to do things. And I'm going to pin this right here. So that's it. This is all we're going to need. So, sudo pacman-s extension list. Mavad. Manager. There we go. So we're going to be doing everything in extension manager. <sighs> because, you know, you want to be able to do it without constantly going in a browser and having issues and stuff like that. There it is. Good. So we're going to go to browse. And I'm going to set this up just like I normally do. So I'm going to install the user theme. Just like that. And we're going to install the extension list. It makes it easier to configure things. We're going to install a system tray. We're not going to install the Zorn menu because we're not going to suffer with outdated stuff or Zorn taskbar or Zorn dash. Because again, their implementation of things uh not really that good so we are going to grab blur my shell because that is very important interesting blur provider what in the galaxy are you must be old because it's unsupported so we're going to install Blur My Shell instead. Blur My Shell does have issues with certain things like, um, crap, I can't remember. Um, it's been a very, very while. I've been a long while. Uh, HDR. Yes, it causes issues with HDR. So if you have any of those, that's the reason why. And we're going to find... Uh, dash to dock. Like that, because I want my dock. Did you know docks offend people? Yeah. Dash to dock for cosmic. A dash to dock fork for the cosmic gnome conflicts with the... What the hell is this? Freaky. Didn't know that was a thing. I think we should probably, uh, you know, fix this so it's not like grabbing 
things that are outdated. But okay, we have the dock, we have the panel, we're gonna need the arc menu. Just like that. Good, we have arc menu. I got just perfection, I got everything else. Let's grab some weather. Uh, weather o'clock is the one. And I don't think I need anything else. I think this is it. It's not that many extensions to make something look good. Oh yeah, okay. So I just had to make sure that was there. Dash, dock from dash. What, what the hell even is this? That is not the right one. Not by a long shot. What, what even is this? Interesting. Yeah, we're going to remove that. I don't like that whatsoever. Dash to dock. Uh, is this going to be one of those things where I'm not able to find something? Popularity. Dash to dock. Not popularity. Okay. Update it. Let's just type dock. There's docker blur my shell. Dock reload it. A few tweaks from gnome's dock. Dash to dock. Right here. This is the one. Or at least it's supposed to be the one. Yes. Okay. We're good now. That looks much better than what we had before. Uh, blur radius. Let's shrink that dash. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Like, I don't need to see if I have my drives mounted. Like, go away. Uh, trash cans and stay. Move to beginning of the dock. That looks fine. We're going to go into blur my shell and I am going to do applications. Turn this on. Crank that up. Turn that off. Enable by defaults, which again gives you the nice blur look. Uh, that most people are, are kind of probably after. And again, you can change how much blur, how little blur that you want. I'm going to go for a lot because I want to make it look nice. And uh, yeah, other than this, I don't think I need anything else in here. It's very straightforward. We are going to need to mess with just perfection. So if we go into customize and... We go in here. I'm going to set this padding to three, this padding to two, clock position to right, set it to about seven. We're going to set the dash to dock size to 40. And that is it. Yeah, and then we go in here. If we do set weather location, we can choose our city just like that. And then it shows the weather. Oh, look at this VIP. Where'd that come from? I like how it shows that we have a VIP set up. That's pretty nice. So it goes to show that I actually set up everything VPN wise correctly, which is a miracle in its own right. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you actually put in time and effort, right? Versus just doing what you think they do. Where, oh, where is the little Cash OS icon gone that I made? Is this not going to show what I want? Okay, pictures, logo, layer one. Let's just rename this to Cash OS. Great. And go in here you'll be in the seas now we'll be able to see it like that Ugh. i have always hated how this has been done but it's whatever at this point i guess there's not much i could do about it now if we go to tweak we do not have tweaks let's install gnome tweaks 
because we're going to need that. Just like that. So far, it's not slowing down at all, which is something I really do appreciate. And we're going to go to appearance. Yes, Tahoe Dark, Shell, Tahoe Dark. That's good, that's good. This is all good. Let's move that to the left to make it more Mac OS like. Yeah, everything is good. It doesn't feel like the FPS is dropping anymore. But I still think the main reason that it was in the first place has got to do with one of the extensions that I'm using, but it doesn't feel like it anymore. You know? Like here. Uh, internal CTL-F. I love how we got quick shell stuff happening. Dash dock box is because cannot do the allocation. I want to go to dash dock because I want to turn this off. That way I can do this. Yeah, there's no errors popping up. That's good. Minus the whole quick shell stuff because you know, quick shell hasn't started or done anything yet, but that's really, really good. Okay. What if I decided to make this directory? What would it do? Copied it. Make der done. Now what's going to complain about? Wah, ha, 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 ha. Now it, it now just complains that there's no quick shell, no such file or directory. That's funny. I like that. You fix one thing and it's like, yeah, we're going to just, no, it's still there. Oh, well, that's not my problem because we're not in quick shell, are we? All right. So with that all set up, I guess all that's left to do is to go into display settings. I'm kidding. We actually need to go into change background and we're going to add a picture. And I want it to be this. Yeah, that's the one that looks really good. Oh, there's just something about GNOME that looks so crisp and so clean and so professional looking. And I, I just love it. I really, really, really love it. Where when it comes to other desktop environments, it just doesn't even remotely look as good. No matter what you do to it, it just never looks as good. It looks, this just looks brilliant. I'm going to be honest with you. I love it. Uh, just like if we go in here, set that there. Set that there. That will go to Gwenview. Perfect. I don't know. Everything is kind of working okay. Everything is really fast and smooth, you may notice. So I'm kind of happy that um, NVIDIA and GNOME kind of came to a conclusion where they're like, yeah, uh, we're going to like work together. And that's pretty awesome. I want to go back to weather. Because there was something in here about dynamic clock and weather icons. Right, when's the last time this was updated? Yeah, that's that's on that's unfortunate that that's no longer supported. So what was the last time this repository for this project is empty? Oh, that's really sad. I guess they may have deleted it. 
that's that is pretty sad the last one was 47 that gives me hope okay okay so we can install it anyway by just doing this okay and uh all we have to do is we have to go in here uh, we have to go into local before i end this video share and gnome shell extensions and i believe it's there it is right here and open with the s codium oh don't save that uh and all we have to do is just this this that that and 49 save done should be able to just log out and log back in and it will work hopefully uh thank you guys for watching the video i don't know i just felt like i wanted to do this i want to and i decided to just do this anyway so i don't know if you found something useful out of this video it's definitely been a while uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.